You're like me at 1,000%. What am I doing? <laughs> You're like living life the way I... I mean, I live life kind of similar. Bro, I feel boring. I got a girlfriend. I'm holding it down. I'm not, I'm not on any crazy shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, you be having like threesomes like it's fucking Christmas every week. I mean, yeah, but that's not like as wild as you might think it is because in reality... Whoops! <laughs> now, now I understand where that news was, that, where that noise was coming from. Oh, my bad. Wow, Yo, the story just sabotaged me. Um, now, my my girl, like she puts those in the fucking calendar and shit, so it's not necessarily like all that crazy. It's like I gotta meet up and like serve dick on schedule. Like it's not like I'm just like showing up and getting all passionate, you know, getting all like getting drunk, eating ass and shit. I'm like here to do a job, and yeah. I get that job done, and I'm proud. Yo, to I lo- say, yo, I love you, babe. You know, like, they, I they, you know, I I didn't even believe in God until you came into play. For real? Yeah, I, I still don't believe in God. You might need to give me some tips. <laughs> <laughs> Convert me, man. It all this came from like, I mean, where the hell did you come from, man? Like, when did this all start, man? Like, well, the year was 2003, and I was I hit Canal Street, and I copped a Who Kid mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been bad ever since. No, so you that was the, a big one. You guys were the kings of fucking copyright infringement back in the day, man. That's crazy. Fuck yeah, Adam. <laughs> was, I didn't give a, but there was no rules back then. The nah, red yeah, tape was beautiful. Right. It was hey, it was the golden years. You never got a Fed case either. That yeah, uh, you're right. I yeah. never got raided or nothing. There you go. But you know who who really caught up to it? Jimmy Iovine. He's the one that caught up to it. Right. And then and then he created the the I guess the the cease and desist laws. The structured wow. music world that we're in now, where Everybody's just caking off Spotify and shit. Where well, I leaked the Eminem song, so I then blame me. That that really started it. Once I leaked the Eminem song, all the laws came into play. Mm, that's what did it. Yeah, that's what did it. That's it, like Bieber overdosing on activists. That's why they had to take <laughs> it off the shelves. It's just finally, it just got too on blast. Wow, that's crazy. Shout out to Eminem. You know it's his birthday weekend that you're on right now too. Bro, can I tell you a little bit about Eminem? Go ahead. I dressed up as him last Halloween, so I had a makeup artist come to my house and cover my tattoos and shit. It took like two hours, and then we like drew on his tattoos, and I had a wife beater, and I dyed my hair blonde, and basically just went hard as fuck to try to look like him, and then I sent Paul a picture of it, like basically trying to like use that as a way of saying like, yo, look at what an Eminem fan I am, look at this crazy ass Halloween costume I did, because I interviewed Exhibit dressed like that too, which was hella funny, Wow! because it really like, if you just looked at it real quick, you'd think it's just Exhibit and Eminem on a podcast together. What's the difference between me and you? (laughs) Back in the day, bro, (laughs) But, but then, but then. The thing is, is that Paul didn't see the DM or respond for like two weeks. Aww. And then he responds and he goes, that's cool. Kind of weird. <laughs> like clearly not thinking about the fact that I sent it to him on Halloween. Oh, that's crazy. So that, I don't know uh, what effect that, that might have had on my Maybe chance. Maybe you should ever do it Eminem. again this year and then and then I'll put you and Paul together and then get Eminem to repost it or some shit. That'd be tight. I'm really thinking I might go in like a different direction and just be a different Eminem. But what? you know what the thing is too is that MGK hates me because I – said that Eminem washed him in that whole little war. Oh, I don't remember exactly what I said. I'm sure it was a lot more offensive than what I'm saying right now, but I basically, whatever I said, I think it's true too, yeah. I mean, I don't know what that guy's on, bro. And no, not that's not even disrespect to MGK, because yeah, I mean, course. that's what Eminem does. He just washes people, so I mean, you know, you're not as good as him, so of course you got washed. But I mean, he kind of washed himself when he got those bricks tattooed on his stomach with the anarchy sign. Like, <laughs> That kind of like, once you do that, it's kind of like, what what is the world going to throw at you that you haven't already done to yourself, that, <laughs> oh, you know? Shit, yeah. Yo, I love Adam, man. How are you still alive, man? I, I can't believe I'm still alive. All the shit I be seeing up here. Bro, I just been walking around, hanging out, smoking weed in Central Park all day and shit. Like, we've just been chilling today. I ain't, I ain't worried about nothing. You don't have death threats and shit like that? Nah, to be real, like, I feel like a lot of people, like, academics and Vlad, they gotta move around different, because a lot of people know him for shit that people don't like, but I feel like with me, whenever I, I never meet people that ever, like, get mad or disrespectful or nothing. Who you with right now? I see you got a shooter with you, like, who, who's that with the Kango hat? This is Dave, yeah. Black Dave from Uptown, he's a fucking skateboarder, rapper, etc., and he's- Oh, so he's not a shooter? Nah, no, 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 no. Yes, sir, yes, sir. He got a big bag, but I don't think there's a gun in it, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, a bunch of fronto, and then th- this is my homie Tony who films all that shit. He's like a pro BMX rider as well. And oh, that's fire. Jason is kind of our brand manager. It's just an ill Filipino turn up party boy. <laughs> <laughs> all, always trying to make everybody take shots. He got a gun tattoo on the side of his head. <laughs> Your background is BMX. Did you ever think you'd be doing all this shit today? 
Nah, because that's like I spent my whole like upbringing just basically like being obsessed with music, rap in particular, and then riding bikes. But I never really like thought there would be an entry point for me to be able to like create content or really get involved on the industry side of things with mm. hip hop. And then it just kind of like fell in place all of a sudden when I was like 30, 31. Just because I had one homie, Xavier Wolf, who's like an underground sort of legend SoundCloud guy from Memphis. Mm. And I did his first interview and people just tweaked out and loved it so much. And then all of a sudden I had other rappers hit me up and it just sort of. I, I kind of was just like covering the SoundCloud scene and then sort of took that momentum and following and started using that to be able to get an interview with Master P or Spider Loke <laughs> or whoever, you know? I didn't ask him about you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Shout out all the Lokes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think only Adam 22. Dead Lokes. The first time I ever saw like, uh, like black strippers, like, you know, hanging out with like uh, uh, an interviewer ever. This is my You're first acting time. like this is my doing. You brought these girls. No, you they, 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 they heard you. No, I didn't. You <laughs> brought them. Stop my girls gonna be mad confused. Like, like, oh, Daniel, you brought them. <laughs> nah, Adam brought them. I would, <laughs> <laughs> bro, like, I, I take the blame. That would be so lit if I was prancing around the city with a bunch of cool strippers with me. But I mean, I didn't it's think that possible. far ahead. It is possible, Don't isn't let it? The dream go. Yeah, I should have told my girl though. She's like the slut wrangler, man. She fucking, she loops them all in. Not that y'all are sluts. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! So, uh, yeah, it's black booty. Like, uh, I mean, that's that's a big black booty. Like for some random interview though. I can handle it. We love all booty. Yeah, all booty. Yeah, BMX dudes be fucking fat asses like that. I thought y'all just like white chicks. Some of them BMX probably just skaters. me. Skaters. Oh, my girl got more cake than that. Yeah, that that shit's all like too like. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, check it out. She got she, she, check out the gram. <laughs> God look damn, look I think right, she farting. Right? I think she farting. That's why I, that can't all be clap. That's a fart, bro. The no jumper name did that come from Gucci Man? Like, uh, is yeah, that from yeah. the line? Because we just made like a list of like a hundred different like hard lyrics. And we just were going through it, just trying to, because I, I was just thinking about, like, there's a lot of blogs from back in the day, like, uh, Up North Trips. I always like that blog name and shit. Mm. Just a random song name that just sounds cool. But, you know, that was taken. So I, we just kind of, like, started doing a brainstorm of just a bunch of different good bars and shit and just sort of landed on that. But it's kind of a metaphor for what I was doing, too, because I didn't really think I was going to be able to get interviews with, like, big name rappers. So mm. I was just trying to interview, like, whoever I could and shit, sort of, like, get a more underground perspective. Mm. Did you get that culture vulture bullshit like coming out because you're white and you're interviewing like all the kids? But I mean, I see the shit? comments, but you know, nothing too, nothing too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the shit that's cool, you came during a transition where the new, the new sound was mm. popping in, like all the little pumps and all these guys. That was you gave him a look. That's like, how I kind of snake my way in the game, you know. As I just happened to be friends with a lot of the sort of like underground SoundCloud wave coming out of Florida, and I had a bike shop in downtown LA, and all mm. them dudes are like coming to LA to do fucking meetings with labels and all that shit. And I was just kind of like hitting them like when they would come to town, like, "Yo, let me get a podcast." And this is kind of like early like now it feels like everybody like gets it that like you want to interview the new cool underground rappers because a lot of times they're going to do more views than the fucking established dudes because nobody's heard them talk before you know mm. it's like so in a lot of ways you might be able to get like a fucking you know you might be able to get a little tech interview that does more views than amigos interview oh, just wow. because right. motherfuckers seen a million amigos interviews not that i love amigos but i mean you know exactly it's like there's a lot of value in like being early to showing somebody so i just kind of figured that out early i guess Do you, are you desensitized with all the kids now like anything goes now so mm. your interviews i guess that's why your interviews are so wild and crazy like i mean i hate when they show up on drugs and shit i mean some, they be falling asleep on your shit they be knocked yeah. out like, because they're not doing fun drugs if they showed up on molly or coke or something that'd be fun but instead they show up, <laughs> if they show up on lean or zans or whatever it's just like oh my god like this dude's just operating slow as like fuck the, like you like this should be hanging and shit. i would love to interview a good cokehead man that's <laughs> Fucking, they're entertaining. <laughs> you fun. ever been to a club and you got a cokehead trying to talk to you and you're just sober as fuck and you're just like, they're hype as fuck. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the but fuck. in a podcast, that shit would be content because people like, would be right. watching that like, what the fuck? That's like wrong? gold. That's like yeah, gold. Yeah, that'd be right hilarious. There. But <laughs> I mean, I don't really have that problem anymore to be real. Like, but there's definitely been some times where dudes showed up zanned out or whatever and it was just sometimes the podcast couldn't even come out because it was just too what? stupid. I mean, to be real, I just don't do drugs at all anymore. Like, <laughs> but I do respect that. That's real, though, because, I mean, I know a lot of dudes who, like, got into drinking lean 
and then all of a sudden they're drinking, you know, a pint or two a week, spending all their money, getting God, ridiculously damn. sick. Their whole life is falling apart. They're fat as fuck. And then, like, you know, a year, two, couple, however many years, you know, there's a million dudes like that. Like, Boosie will tell you about how fucking horrible his experience with it was. Mm. But then again, like, I mean, I'm a person who I could drink lean once in a while, and I'm, I don't, I could never imagine getting addicted to it. If anything, I just don't even like doing it anymore because it's just, I don't really... I'm not moving at that pace. Like, this just slows you down too much or whatever. And I feel the same way about Coke or whatever. If I go out and drink and do Coke, the next day is a wash. Because I'm just feeling like shit. Yeah. I just, I mean, I just can't really do it the way I used to. But <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's next? You interview everybody. Who's next? So do I, but it's hard for me to figure out who the fuck is next to pop off. I just let them come here because they're... Who's next? Black Dave next. Black Dave is next. Uh, TJ Bang next. is next. TJX6, that's my favorite scammer rapper. He next. Oh wow! You played course. Dark Web by TJX6. We got a collab shirt with him. Dude, bro. I you the Wait, oh, he shit. played that for yeah, me. Bambi for did play that for me. I forgot about that. I'm Damn. in it for the long. Shit, I'm in it for a long haul with TJ, man. He's he's tight. He didn't get a haircut for like six months because he was trying to like live out this one rap where he said he couldn't get a haircut because he, he scammed his barber. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> he, so he didn't real. get a haircut for mad long. That's so real. I thought that was br brilliant. Is Ugly God the weirdest motherfucker ever? No, well, who's the weirdest? Ugly God shames me for eating ass and shit. <laughs> that ugly nigga is, is shamed you? I know, his be? face looked like he ate too much ass. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like all he too does is eat ass. Lil Yachty, is he weird? Lil Yachty's weird because he just only eats pizza and fucking corn dogs, but actually he's one of the nicest, coolest, like, in terms of, like, the younger, like, because I did his first interview, and mm -hmm. it was like, he was with Coach K. Yeah. And I'm like brand new to the game and shit. And I'm like, he walks in with like Gucci Mane's manager. I'm like, what the fuck? Because I didn't even know he was signed to QC at that or It was just QC management and shit, you know? That's fire. I was tripping. So like, but I mean, Yachty, to be real, is like one of the nicest, coolest, most like regular. If I could, I could go hang out with Yachty for a week straight and he wouldn't bother me. Lil Pump. My guy. He's like the coolest. Ah, yeah, he's just the funniest fucking kid in the world, yeah. Does he laugh, like, for no reason? Like, I heard he be laughing, like, for no fucking reason. Pump is hilarious, bro. I feel like I'm one person that whenever I see Pump, I just start saying shit that I don't even think is that funny, and he just thinks it's funny as fuck because he just, like, he's I'm just so amused. <laughs> I'm really, like, his, like, weird-ass uncle or some shit because I met him right before he started popping, and it's, like, that's, like, the definition of, like, if you meet somebody at the right point in your career, you could have, like, a real relationship with them. Yeah. Whereas if you tend to, if you meet somebody, like, later on, it's, like... They don't need you at that point. It's like, but me and Pump are really like homies. Like, I hit him up every once in a while, and we just actually I Facetimed him when I was with those two midgets, and he was just like, "Oh my god!" He's waking up. It's eight p.m. He's waking up. He's like, "Oh my god!" I've been thinking about fucking two midgets. <laughs> <laughs> he's hyped. So but funny. they said that he couldn't smash because he's not black. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm like, you said the N word. Like, that's close enough, right? <laughs> Yo, give me a, 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 a joint on Comethazine, another widow. Oh, Man. my God. He don't like me. He don't I, like you? Mm -hmm. Nah, because I said, because uh, I just said that he was a dick or something. Like, when I was talking <laughs> about the double XL cover, I was like, this is kind of this is kind of an asshole. This is real. Like, I mean, he's all right. I'm, I'm not mad at him, but he's just kind of like a prick, to be real with you. <laughs> I'm not even like, we could be cool. It's just like, he tried to call me on the phone to argue about the fact that I said he was an asshole in this podcast. And I'm like, bro, I'm not trying to have a phone call, a conversation, just because I said that's not offensive enough for you to be mad. He's a titty bopper. Like, he really popped in my DM after I did a video with him. And he was like 17. Like, really? Really? You talked him off? Uh -oh. Of yeah, course not. Why not? First of all, I'm not fucking any of you rappers. I am not a rapper, but um, I mean he's a grown man now. Yeah, he can get some, he can get some clout talk Honestly, now. Honestly, if you really, if clout the way top. the clout way top. you are, you really could, you could if you tried. Me? You could if you tried. With you? Rap? Oh, rap! I thought you said. I thought you meant I could get some pussy from you, and I was gonna be like, I'm gonna have to respectfully decline because I have a girlfriend. <laughs> My final question is Smoke Perp. What's up with him? That's a that? homie, bro. He was just, I was just interviewing Matt Rolling Loud and he was talking a hell of shit about like, because there was this girl that, that he got top in an IHOP and, a, and then there was another girl that he got top in a Denny's and he put them both on a Snapchat and the clips ended up going viral or whatever. What? And then this girl just shows up at my store one day and she just goes, I don't know if you remember me. I'm the girl that sucks Smoke Perp's dick in the Denny's. <laughs> wow, she said that? That's what? Clout Top right there, right? Yeah. Top, yeah. And he didn't even remember fame. who it was. That's what? a claim to fame. That's, that's a claim. Top, top. That's, pretty, that's pretty bad. That's top, a claim top. to fame. 
yeah, that's what he was saying. He's like, I'm going to do a TV show. I'm going to go get my dick sucked in all these different restaurants. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> can't get your friends you like rubbing your going butt for that. since they don't do that. ain't Ubers nowhere. Uh, yeah. Oh, it both, gets uh, both, lit. Both, both, oh, wait, yeah, yeah. I got to get that on the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, can can y'all like rub it? Like, rub it. Do something. Come on. Yeah, rub it. Come on. Act like there's music on. Rub it. Dance. Go crazy. Yeah. I'm going to add music to it. Just rub it. Yeah. Like, yeah, rub it. Act like you're massaging it. Yeah, yeah, lick it, lick it. Yeah, do all that. You look cute. You look like somebody I would fuck. Do that. Yeah, you look like a Spanish African mix. Come on, yo, yo. He's filming. He's filming. Get down there. Get down there. Get the, get the heads down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For CBD. 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 